how are you going to recover this? Oh, here comes Oirat's forces. Manchu needs to be very careful. Beijing is on the verge of falling. Here they come. I don't think that Manchu has enough troops in position. Ming has just been... Oh, these are exiled! Disaster! Exiles aren't going to fight. This is just going to be 13,000 against 22. They've left that way too late and they didn't take any money. Oh, this is tragic. They need to wait until they can retreat. So that's going to be on the 6th of September. On the day of the 6th, they're going to be gone. Go! Retreat! Don't fight this! No! Run! You're just losing too many... Ah, oh, you idiots! <laughs> Manchu's just lost because of that. They're being trapped on the wrong side. They might... Yeah, they have been exiled. So they need to make it all the way back over to Manchu. But they've just lost a huge number of troops there. Oirat still has 23,000 manpower. They didn't even take any land. <laughs> Manchu, what are you doing? Did they only just realize they were at war with Oirat or something? That felt like a panic situation right there. What did they take? Looking at how big Data is, could you let CPM come back as Data into the voter? You know, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'd, I'd allow that. Especially as Date took Oda's territories. <laughs> We had a follow. In fact, we've had several follows. Oh, I am sorry about this. We've had quite a lot of stuff happening. Zero, thank you very much for the follow. Quartz Silver, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. I am sorry that I missed that uh, two hours ago. Aklaudus, Chitmen, and Rizik, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Community Multiplayer Madness, which we hold every Sunday at the same time. So every Sunday from now on. Probably with the exception of next Sunday, seeing as that is Thanksgiving, we'll probably take next Sunday off. But after that, it's going to be every Sunday, 3pm until 6pm, uh, Greenwich Mean Time. And we will see more such madness. Hello, hello. Hello. This is your emperor speaking. Not my emperor. I didn't vote for you're you. My, yes, your emperor. Did you see what we did? I have not. What did you do? North Italy will not be leaving the empire. Oh, interesting. We have also added England to the empire. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> yep. You want a bunch England, of pirates England in your empire. England is also a pirate. Of, yep, they're also... He apparently had uh, this idea that he wanted to join the empire. And then when talking to that guy, that guy said something to the effect of, oh, I hope you're not going to do something stupid and crazy like become a pirate republic. And Val goes something to the effect of, huh. actually, that's a tempting idea. I might do that. Yeah, Pirate Republic England is going to be terrifying. Yep. Especially in the Empire. Yes. So, yeah. We, we good. We we nice. We do a nice and strong here over here. Yeah, I've been watching the uh, madness going on in uh, Asia at the moment. Manchu versus Oirat. Big showdown. Oh, oh, really? How's that been going? Uh, Quite well for one player, not so much for the other. <laughs> Don't want to say who. No. Who and then the, the right. really big showdown was uh, Poland versus Muscovy. I think that was probably well, like one of the biggest contests. We saw contests. that. It was, uh, that was a fun war, according to all parties. They, they enjoyed that one, even if it was just a white piece. It was a white piece, but damage was done. Like, yep. quite a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, both both are both are reeling from that one. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd come and tell you that uh, the yeah. Holy Roman Empire is actually... Is, we saw you that you were sitting on the uh, Venice War for a very long time. I suspect that's just because he couldn't take Venice. Yeah, it's they they kept spinning, spinning out little troops. Whoever like one one K stacks constantly. They had a forty something uh, stack of ships in the Gulf of Venice. We couldn't beat that. We wouldn't have the money or or resources to build the ships to challenge that at the time. Yeah, I kept on mistakenly um, saying just... that uh, Venice was winning the largest fleet award, thinking they were a player, but of course they aren't. So no. they have the largest <laughs> fleet in the world. They did, they did. But then rebels happened, and a twenty-five k Bogomila stack popped up in Venice, and that basically Oops. ended any of their any of their little stack spawns. So we're anyway, like, okay, we're we're gonna win now. Yeah, if you'll excuse yep. me, I need to get back to commentating this because of course. Happening. Thank All you. Right, I'll see it. Leave you to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Manchu has just attacked Oira. Oira is trying to rally some troops, but they don't seem to be doing that very successfully. This is an attack into mountains, which may not have been the 
best option, but it was a significant number of troops against a very small number. Jing Zhu has not fallen. Hong Chun has not fallen. But where's the Manchu capital? Because I feel like that has fallen. And Manchu is currently losing by 60 war score. Oirat starting to move some of their troops together. Manchu losing 5% attrition here at the moment. However, they have now taken that province. They continue to take the attrition. Forts have started to retake some of these territories around here. But where's the capital? If I click on you, then click on your shield. That's the Oirat shield. Manchu. I want the Manchu shield. Ah, there it is. That's their capital. So, Oirat... Oh, no, that's Manchu. That's Oirat. Oirat's trying to retake the mountains, whereas Manchu has just rushed around here, going for the capital right now. 36,000 against 30,000. Manchu definitely has more fuel in the tank than Oirat has right now. Manchu trying to take out Mongolia's army. Uh, Oirat marching to assist. This is a step battle, so it's out in the plains. Here comes... Uh, Manch uh, Oirat. So this is going to be the showdown. Oirat versus Manchu. This is going to be the big battle. 4.2 morale for... Uh, who's this? The attacker. The attacker is Oirat. And Manchu getting absolutely trounced, apparently. Wow, that was one-sided. Why was that so one-sided? Uh, <laughs> Why was that so one-sided? That shouldn't have been. I mean, Oirat does have a lot more cavalry, but it's 18,000 against 19,000. They only have one pip better general. There was only a 0.1 morale. Just rolls? Really? Just because of that? Did Oirat tech up? No, I think both are level 5. Yeah, still 5. There's complete equality there. I am stunned that that was so one-sided. Also, Manchu has not used a single banner. Do they not have access to them yet? Or does he just not know how to do it? I guess he just doesn't know how to do it. Oops. Because that's access to a lot of additional soldiers. And banner troops are quite strong. Could you see what's happening in Africa in a moment? I want to see what's going on here. Also, Bjornvar, aren't you supposed to be in the game? Naughty, naughty. Don't hordes get a bonus for fighting in their own lands? I thought it was just any step. That's what I was trying to check, but the battle ended too soon. And I had all those bloody pop-ups blocking me from checking things. Manchua. <coughs> Excuse me. Now on minus two stability. I think this is the end of Manchu. I don't think there's going to be a recovery from this. But you never know. I've, I've seen more crazy things happen. Meanwhile, Austria fighting... Oh no, Bosnia fighting against Hungary. Is Hungary a vassal yet? No, they're just allied with Austria. There is no personal union between the two. Meanwhile, Ajam have turned things around against Timurids and actually managed to piece them out for a bunch of stuff. Meanwhile, Hormuz has Timurids uh, currently occupied. Hormuz having a great game at the moment, which is quite nice to see, even if they are AI. Congo expanding slowly but surely. Morocco expanding towards Tunis, although Tunis is currently a protected nation, so they can't take any of that. Uh, Hoshikawa having secured pretty much the entirety of the south. Hatakayama fighting against Date. Not sure who Hatakeyama are. Ah, these guys. So how did things go so wrong for Date? Date even knew actually got 4,000 soldiers. Hatakeyama have come in with five. So even though Date own a bunch of territory, they're not really in a position to do very much. Ah, unconditional. And there we go. Oira have taken a bunch of territory from Manchu, cutting them in half and removing them from their Korean provinces. Manchu's mistake there was piecing Ming out for nothing. Manchu could have won that. Definitely could have won that. The shocks were 8 versus 0, then a 7 versus 2 for Oira. Ouch. Yeah, and when you're doing 33% more shock damage, that hurts.
Yes, that's a good idea. We should definitely go and have a word with Manchu. Um, so who's Manchu? Manchu, 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 Manchu. Martian. Do, 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 do. Where are you? There you are. Except I can't drag you to my commentary box. No, apparently you can't scroll. Uh, that's a slight problem. And a big problem with Discord. Crikey, that's an oversight. You can't scroll the chat box when you have someone selected. Ah, here Merk we go. up. Oh. And had a serious... Oh. Oh, hello. You. I was trying to talk to you. Hello. Somehow that worked. <laughs> um, so what happened? Um, so we were kind of going good, um, but Oirat got to the first war against Ming and took Beijing. Um, and so by the time I declared war on Ming, I was doing good, um, but I was trying to reinforce in, uh, I was at war with Oirat at the same time, and I had my troops in Beijing, um, trying to siege it down. And I, as I was bringing the second half of my army to go there, Ming got a 7% siege on their capital, getting it back, taking up any war score I had. Um, which was rather unfortunate. And um, so then I also um, I had my troops get um, black flagged and they didn't get to the fight in time with Oirat. And then I, in one last ditch effort, um, took out a bunch of loans, hired a bunch of mercs, filled up the Korean Peninsula with my troops and went out to fight him and had a 5,000 man advantage and lost it still as the defender. So Yeah, chat, we're talking about that. You just got really unlucky in there because you got a... Uh, what were the rolls? Where, where were they listed? An eight versus zero roll, and then a seven versus two roll. Yeah, no, but it's not. It's not great. And I mean, admittedly, I probably I could have avoided the bankruptcy pretty easily, but I was rather hoping to. Because yeah, we were screaming at you well. when you were at war with Ming. You could have pieced them out for two thousand seven hundred ducats, which which would have been more than enough money to just flood Oirat with mercenaries. That's a valid point. I mean, my economy was already starting. My economy, obviously, you know, being Manchu was, has on, been on the decline the entire time, though. So, I mean, wouldn't have been... You basically yeah. had a choice. You could have taken uh, the little bit of Ming, which is now behind Oriat lines, or you could have pieced yeah, the out for all of their money for 2,700 ducats, which would have been more than enough to win you that war. And we're like, oh, no, you didn't do this. And then the, the piece happened. That's was it fair. just a white piece? the um no i took one province and some money but yeah that was really unfortunate and then when you piece them out just the terrible terrible timing of black flagging your unit so half of them are exiled half of them are in the fight and then just like oh no it's yeah just, just i trail. thought they had all <laughs> i thought they had all landed because i looked at the date and i just got it off by a little bit um so it's unfortunate but then i just unconditional surrendered because i knew those it was gonna be it was gonna end up there anyways just whether or not i wanted to keep my troops so that's fair. I mean, that's why the unconditional surrenders exist, and that's why we have the rules about it. Yeah. Well, it was a good fight anyway. I definitely enjoyed doing that. Like, your fight and then the war between Muscovy and Poland were both... Brilliant. How did that go? Who won that? Uh, White Peace. White Peace? White wow. Peace. Yeah. So, yeah, we definitely had some really good action this session, so thank you for that. So, do, yeah, you, think there's, it, so. do you think there's any way of saving Manchu from here? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It kind of depends on what that guy wants to do, and it depends on how Japan develops. So, I'm thinking at this point the likelihood is low, though. Um, but he did leave me with some chunks of Korea, so who knows? Yeah, we'll see. You could become hmm. Korea, basically Manchu Korea. <laughs> yeah. Well, also Mink hasn't actually exploded yet, and they're gaining mandate. Yes, they are. They're up to so, already. Yeah. And yeah, unfortunately, though. Um, the smart thing in his peace deal is me and Ming are now no longer ordering each other. So you can't be a tributary. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. We'll see. Oirat's peace deal there was pretty good. We're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's that's probably about as bad as it could have been for you. Oh, yeah, yeah banners. I mean, do you know how banners work? I do know how banners work, um, but I ballsily did not use them because I was at force limit um, with my free cab that I got from the um, state click from the race host. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so I, I didn't think I would need to because I did lots of practice sessions and I found that lots of times I didn't really need the banners and they were li they were nicer to have later. Um, so that way, as I continue on, I would always just get free units and never have to pay for them. Mm -hmm. um, but 
obviously that's was probably a little folly here. Yeah, probably. You could definitely have used them, especially after you lost that first battle. Uh, you could have just used yeah. banners to pop another one and immediately go and gone in again. Well, the, the issue at that point is I was occupied. So, I mean, all my states were full occupied, so I couldn't have raised the banners. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. You still had the uh, southern ones when we were talking about it in chat, but after mm. that was pretty much too late. And really what I was hoping for is I knew Mink had... And I was hoping that they would full an like like occupy me in the north, because you know that's how the AI works. And they did get there and get a few provinces, but by the time they got there, it was far too late. So gotcha. All right, well, it's kind of funny though, because I was in the voice chat with him, and he was all like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go suppress these re these Corsian rebels." And I was like, "Oh yeah, the ones that just re like they just had a rising and they're at negative 98 unrest." Yes, <laughs> <laughs> totally what's happening. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I'll let you go back to your channel. That was a really good fight, though. Very much uh, All right. enjoyed that. So, well done, but uh, bad luck. And it really was yep, bad luck. You. Like, those two both bad rolls, so what screwed you? And then the peace deal with Ming. Yeah. This way, like, whenever he declared war, I said, like, it's, it's come down to the rolls, because we have the same number of troops, and that's what it yep. came down to. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you. See you later. Bye. Okay, and then it is just us again. Let me just bring that up. Okay, good. Uh, so we heard there, he was a little bit too cocky to not use the banners, which is very unfortunate for him. And the Ming peace deal is because they retook their capital just too late. I think he got a little bit greedy trying to take more of Ming. He should have just peaced out and then focused on Iraq because that was the true threat. Ming's always going to be there. Players are always more of a threat than the AI. Anyway, Sweden still in their war against Denmark. The whole of the... North of Denmark has been conquered. Sorry, Sweden. Hey, Mordred. Hello. The pirate captain so. himself. Oh. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm also in the HRE. Sorry, themself. Yes, um, fewer came in and said that you would join the uh, HRE, which is good. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. I'm not letting anyone destroy this HRE. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering for such a long time what on earth you were doing with France and Castile. Like, someone mentioned while we were doing all the rehosts, like, is Cornwall <laughs> yellow? And we're like, uh... And we just couldn't check yes, because you're blocked was. in with that screen. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, yeah, Cornwall is yellow. And then suddenly, like, Norfolk became French. We're like, okay, something weird's happening now. <laughs> I wasn't nation ruining, though. No, I didn't think you were. Like, you were one of the few players who are like, you're going to do some bizarre things, but it's going to be good for the nation eventually, probably. <laughs> I love that probably there. That makes <laughs> well, it could have difference. backfired so badly if either France or Castile had decided, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity to take England out. You would have had no defense. Well, why do you think I had two of them? One of them's going to stay loyal, right? And yeah, this is true. And help me take back the stuff from the other one. Yeah, that, that, it was a nice move, like, full, full keto, kudos to you there. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this whole, like, Western European alliance set up just so that no one kills me during that period. <laughs> and now they've unleashed a menace, like, England with its already crazy force limits, now with Pirate Republic force limits and ship capture chance, you're going to be unstoppable at sea. <laughs> Well, England doesn't get force limit bonuses, does it? Oh, is that Great Britain? I don't think Great Britain does either. Well, I think it's, it's just the fact that you have such a massive not coastline. Not force limit. Yeah. And then now you have the plus fifty percent from your government form. Mhm. Mm and also, I can raid. Yes, I've been watching like France's um, relations to you and Castile's relations to you to see if you just turned around, and started raiding them back. <laughs> Because that would have been hilarious and be like, right? what it'll, are you going to do about it'll this? It'll happen eventually. <laughs> nice. It's 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 going to happen. <laughs> yeah, people have been asking me right. to do the HRE map mode because I just want to take a look at this. I just couldn't remember where it was. There it is. Um, oh, it's only actually London and Kent in the HRE right now. We, we need to see the rest of England in there. I I know. I know. It, yeah, I'll, I'll add it piece by piece when uh, the Emperor needs reforms because <laughs> I want those bonuses too and that makes sense I mean those bonuses are pretty potent so are you going to be angling to become an elector or maybe even Emperor oh you can't be yes, a Republic 